Hello, I'm Dr. Nisikowski. I'm Jackie. And now uh, we're going to continue our series on games that develop math skills. And so this is Dino Math Tracks. This is a game I used to use with my third graders. And you have a third and fifth grade. And fifth, uh -huh. right? And so you're interested in games that develop their math skills. Mm -hmm. Now these games could, this game I did, I uh, was able to give to, to students to play on their own when they were done with things. You could put it in a center. You just have to show them how to play it first. Uh, but I also use it for enrichment and after school. So this is one of the few games that I know of that develop place value. Now there's a couple others that uh, Learning Resources produces that go to the uh, hundredth place. This one goes to the thousandth place. There is a space version that goes to the hundreds. Oh, I would love that one. But thousands, since your older yeah. child can play uh, with your younger child. So one thing that's confusing, you think, oh, you, you take a color. Uh, no, you take a, a dinosaur type, which is interesting because woolly mammoths did not exist during the time of dinosaurs. But, you know, that's the way it is. This is not for science. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm the bront uh, brontosauruses. You are the woolly mammoths. And what we're going to do is it's a race game. you got to get all your dinosaurs to, to cross the rainbow bridge. Okay. And so when you roll you get to decide how to assign it. So I could make, you can make your woolly mammoth go six. This one go three, three, and two like that. Okay, so you actually, you're supposed to use these spots right here in the corner to okay. help you understand how to move it. Now the reason why the dice are messed up, as you can see here, is because this version of the game here, I had it in the garage at one time, and it heated up and it, they stuck to the dice. So don't, don't store this game in hot places. <laughs> <laughs> so you would move then, you would move this one six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This one would go three, et cetera. And, that, and what this teaches uh, children is that you've got to get all your dinosaurs to the end, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you can make different amounts here. Let's say your red uh, woolly mammoth is for, further ahead. So maybe you put the six here if, you're, if your green one is further behind in the tens place. Okay. All right. Now, I'll go over as we're playing what happens with the green die when we land on each other. Okay. Now, we're playing the basic version. There's actually two versions where you actually can get action uh, cards here and problem-solving cards. But we're just going to play the straight up, roll the dice, assign them, and try to, try to race, okay. race each other. Okay. Okay. So, on your camera here, go ahead and roll your dice. And then go ahead and assign them any way you want here on the on the board. Now at this point in the game, it really doesn't matter at first mm -hmm. how you align the numbers because they're all starting in the same place. But you would work with children and say that's five thousand six hundred and thirty-three. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and move. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Six. So I can do that for you okay. if you want. And then you and go three and three. three. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sorry you're making you reach there. That's okay. Uh, now, when at the finish line, do all the dinosaurs have to be over here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All of them have to get to the end to win. Mm -hmm. So you would teach, they, uh, that would be 5,630 and then 3 if you mm -hmm. really want to teach the, uh, the place value part. So now I'm going to land on you on purpose just to show what would happen. Actually, I won't be able to. The 5. Two, three. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. These I will stay behind. All right. So you move them first before you do anything. Okay. All right. So four, one, two, three, four. That's four hundred twenty and two. Now what happens now? We're gonna take turns rolling the green die. Now whoever rolls the high rolls the highest goes ahead that much. Okay. So I rolled a four, now you will roll a three. Okay. So this is where you want to land on people because now one, two, three, four, I went 4,000 ahead. Wow, okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the, the additional rules here real quick. Let's see what happens when you start playing with the card. So after you move your dinosaurs, you draw a card. So let's, let's simulate that right now. Okay. All right, so you will go next. So go ahead and roll it on your, on your camera. And go ahead and move them into the spot now. 
Okay, so you're going to go six ahead. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's 6,000. And 500. then 500. One, two, three, four, five. 20. Uh, 20. And, and then four. four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to play the action card first. So go ahead and this is the the easier version and the problem solving card will do net on my turn, okay. which is more difficult. Okay. There's three versions to this game. So go ahead and show this on your camera. Go ahead and put your hand in there so that way it doesn't... Uh, there, all right. So what does it say? Uh, switcheroo, your hundreds dino changes places with the hundreds dino nearest to the Rainbow Falls. Okay. So I got to read that again myself. Sometimes I don't pay attention when I'm hearing things out loud. <laughs> hundreds dino changes place with the hundreds dino nearest to the Rainbow Falls. Oh, so this could be bad. So if I was... No, I think this um, gets you closer to the finish line. Yeah, your hundreds dino changes place with the... So if I was ahead, this would be good for you. Yes, 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 yes. But because your hundreds dino is ahead, right here, uh -huh. you're not going you're, you're to switch... With yours. With, with, uh, with mine, because my hundreds dino is back here. Okay. But let's say it was the other way around. Mm-hmm. Say I was ahead, mm -hmm. this would be a good card for you to draw, and then you would have switched with me. Okay. So you can see that these cards do require some reasoning to read. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't play with these cards my, the, when my kids played them in class. I didn't have them play with the cards. Okay. Okay. Now, could they? Yes, especially if they were gifted and talented students that could read and figure things out on their own. Mm -hmm. But you can see here that it took a little effort on us to try to figure out what's it asking us to do. Yeah. Okay. So it's, but if, if you're an adult playing with children, you can definitely help them figure it out. But for them to do it independently, it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis if they can. All right, so now I'm going to go and then we'll do the problem solving one, which is the, even a higher level. So I'm not going to be type A about this here. I'm just going to put them where I want. If I really wanted to land on you, I would think ahead here. Mm -hmm. And that way I can hopefully do a, a showdown with you, as they call it. Okay, so five... Thousand. One, two, three. Did I just skip you? No, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, see, I probably shouldn't have moved that because he's already so far ahead. Uh, two hundred. Two hundred. Uh, Twenty. Uh, that one's mine. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I get confused. I get confused. Uh, and then four. Um, I think color, not animal. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All right, so now I do a problem solving card. Oops. And these cards aren't the most sturdy, so you might want to laminate them if you're going to use these a lot. And why are they numbered? Because the answers are in the rule book. Uh, your yellow dinosaur skateboards ahead 500 in the morning and back 600 in the afternoon. How far does it get? So you got to do, you got to figure it out. Uh, it, it only got a, a, a hundred. hundred. Move that many in the right direction. So the yellow dinosaur goes 100. So you had to do the equation 600 minus 500. So there is some thinking here. Mm -hmm. But again, the kids have to be independent enough to be able to read it, understand it. Now it does develop, you know, problem solving skills yeah. if they can do it. And I would, again, if you are going to use these cards, you probably want to laminate them if you're going to have them be used a lot. Because mm -hmm. you're just thin card stock. I mean, heck, you could print this out on a printer. Yeah. That's how, that's how thin these are. All right, so that is, where is the box? Right here. So what do you think of dental math tricks? I like it. Well, you're going to try it out. Yeah. Yeah, you'll find out. But it's one of the few games, like I said, that develops uh, place value in a fun way. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm David. And I'm Jackie. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.